the Lord began to speak to me on wisdom kits required to enter into any of the provisions is made for us. So today we look at some you know, wisdom kits for successful living. How many want their children to succeed in life? How do you think God does not want to succeed? I wish above all things, the Holy Ghost said, that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as I so prosper. Let's look at five wisdom kits for successful living. Because you have an heritage of success in Christ. You are redeemed as a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. You are not redeemed a mediocre, you are redeemed a success. You are the light of the world, connotes a pace setter. You are the salt of the earth. You are a value-adding citizen. Now, now, so you have, and I have, that success heritage in Christ. When you pick any medication, you find the elements that make up the product. I was told years ago that an average Peugeot car had 3,000 parts. So what you find on the road is not just one thing, it's those 3,000 parts put into components, components into systems, systems into the system, into the overall body, and then the car is on the road. People don't know those kits. So we start running around with only one. It's just like giving. Giving does not guarantee prosperity. No. No. Giving sets the pace for it. Now there are things that must go in to take delivery of it. A giver who is a sleeper will be a pauper. Because what God bless is the work of your hand. <laughs> what God bless is the work of your hand. All covenant fathers who are workers. There is not being an indolent just run. I wake up in the morning, tied to well at 11 a.m. No. What are the covenant wisdom kits for successful living? Five of them. And they work like fire. Number one, identify your mission. Identify your field of play. What are you out to succeed at? Define it. I have my text from Ecclesiastes 10, verse 5 to 18. There's an evil which I've seen under the sun, as I never proceed from the king. I saw fully in high places, and the wise in low places. I saw servants riding on horses, and priests walking on foot as servants. Either break it and edge, a savage shall bat him. So there's a broken covenant that was the reason for that misfortune. Now, I then went on to prefer a solution. Ecclesiastes 10 10. If the iron is burnt, you don't sharpen it, you need to put in more energy. But wisdom is profitable to direct. So the first requirement is direction. In the school of success, you must have direction. What is your mission? What's your purpose? What are you driving at? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. Number two kit is discipline. I mean, sorry. Number two kit is wisdom. Learning the know-how to take delivery. Your mission is defined, but we need the know -how. the labor of the foolish. We need every one of them because he knows not how to go about the given task. He knows not how, and you can't know how without learning how. What you don't know, you don't know. What you won't learn, you can't know. What you don't know, you pay for it. You can't know how without learning how. <laughs> you can't. I didn't train as a minister of the gospel, but I'm called to ministry. 
So I have to learn how ministry works, or it will never work. It will never work. <laughs> it will never work. Don't jump, jump, jump to school after DJ chemistry. You're going to be selling spare parts. You will fail the following day. The first acquisition is the last one you have. That is the know-how that you must go after to deliver any task. Amen. Amen. Covenant was going to start. It's not part of my assignment. I had to learn how a university that will last runs. And if you saw the news last yesterday or day before, Covenant, again, another ranking, number one in traditional science in West Africa, number three in Africa, number 73 in the world. Wait a minute. There are 2,600 universities in America. 2,600. Are you hearing? 2,600 in America. People don't, people don't waste their life for nothing. So I learned how he taught me. He made me to understand it. And I implanted it. Landmark follows me. Lama follows immediately. That's the power of know-how. That's it. I'm not guessing about ministry. I learned it. 39 biographies across centuries. I learned it. I learned how those who failed and how to avoid it. I learned how those who went proud and crashed, so I could avoid it. Now, number three kid is discipline. Verse 16 of it, want to deal land when thy king is a child. That's one of the greatest problems here. The last one I said is number one problem, the know-how. The black man doesn't believe in know-how. Just let's go, my friend. If you want to help me, help me. <laughs> I want to start business. He says, which business do you know? He's not willing to know. He carries BSC business admin to go and be selling textile. He, he, the man who taught you, does he know about textile? No, no, no. People just with their life. Some have success. They don't know what to do with it. Sir. They don't know what. They are under pressure under it. So it's important to learn. He said, you want to hide the thing from a black man? Write in the book. Write in the book, you won't find it. You can talk from morning to evening, but you can't live for one hour. What are you saying now? Say it again. Let me hear. There are believers today in church, but again, you know, that they read the Bible one hour in a week, you can't find it. Many. One hour, where will you get the time from? The next is discipline. Living as commanded, not as convenient. Now, living to deliver the mandate at a cost you subscribe to. All things are low for me, but don't know they are expedient. I will not be brought under the power of any. Listen to me, we couldn't afford to rent a house of 5,500 in 1986 in Kaduna. If you don't take 5,000, we don't have, you look another house. It's not our house. Five, some people today, they are on 100,000. They are renting a house of 18 million. Are you a thief? So you say, wonder what kind of life is this? What kind of life is this? You are starting a company, you are buying a new car. The company has not made one profit, one naira. You started with borrowing. Where are you heading for? Gross indiscipline, sir. Can I tell you something? 1989, we could not afford the 45,000 naira per annum house. I said, is it for sale? 
No. You say I'm so refreshed and relaxed. I'm not with anybody. Je peux te m'accompter. I will not tell you. I will not tell you one alone. If you don't know your size, you just cut down. Discipline, discipline. You just go about just trying to pose until you are deposed. What are you? Who are you posing to? Amen. Can you drive your car to somebody's house? Into the room. Uh, oh, oh, they, are, they say goodbye. So please come and see my car. <laughs> For what? I want to see your car. I want to be free. He said, prepare thy work in the field. Make it fit for thyself. And after what? Build thy house. Come and say, work first. Work first. People are looking for pleasure first. Too. Work first. If you put pleasure first, you down that pressure. Walk first. Walk first. Walk first. Am I looking for a house for 45,000 now to rent? Walk first. Walk first. Am I looking for a house to buy? No, I can only buy a street or a town. Walk first. Walk first. Walk first. That's discipline. This thing must work first. And then pleasure comes after. Can I hear your amen? amen? And number four, hard work. Come and say hard work. Say hard work. Say it again. Only hard workers emerge high flyers. Hard work. Through slothfulness, a building decays. By idleness of hands, a house drops through. Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 18. Says that a man that is diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before what? Proverbs 22 and verse 29. This is where faith people have problem. I'm believing God. I'm believing God. He's doing nothing. Believing God to do it for you? No. Jesus, the anointed one, came and said, I must walk. The work of it that said, Why this day, the night comes when no man can walk. I must walk. My father walked either too. John 5 17, and I walk. Paul said, I labor more abundantly than them all. Yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. Our future has a lot to do with the quality of our labor today. Our future has a lot to do with the quality of our labor today. You sow sparingly, you respond sparingly. You sow bountifully, Really bountifully. And finally, as we round up, sacrifice is a distasteful word. And that is the key to making the most of anyone's mission on earth sacrifice. I once stated, there is no star without a scar. And the scar of every star is sacrifice. There is no star without a scar. And the scar of every star is sacrifice. Jesus said, I've come to set fire on the earth. <laughs> what a lie. You'll be already kindled. Luke 12, 49 and 50. But I have a baptism baptized with, and now am I straightened until it be accomplished? How am I straightened 
I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I stretched out to see it accomplished? Yeah, this was my father loved me because I laid down my life. I might take it again. No one took it from you. I laid down by myself. That I might take it again. That sacrifice. He became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God has also highly exalted him to make the most of our engagement in any field of endeavor is sacrifice. Sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sure you're having a forties of Shiloh already. Okay. These are wisdom kits for successful living. This book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. Shall meet upon it day and night. And observe to do what it says to do. Then you make your way prosperous and you have what? That's what he says to do. Know where you are going, what you are trying to succeed at. Hmm? Learn how to get there. Discipline yourself towards getting there. Walk, walk it out. Put your best into it. Now, go beyond your best. They call it sacrifice. Go beyond your best. And you'll be there. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know something? Failure is over in your life. Amen. Failure is over in your family. Amen. You will not suffer stagnation anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 